Jason, you're obviously here instead of Paul for a reason. Yeah, um, really sad day actually, John. I feel really, really gutted about this. But we decided, you know, to make a change in the management team, uh, Paul and Chris. I guess the first thing I'd like to say is go on record and thanking them. You know, we've been amazing couple of years since we came in in late 21. In the way we got out of the National League, the FA Cup board, and the Dallas League position for 17 years is, is a real source of pride. And, you know, they go down in the history of the football team indelibly but you know, unfortunately we've been looking at the data we've been looking at the way we're performing for the last six weeks actually so this isn't a snap decision on the Saturday afternoon Andrew and I have been talking at length for the last couple of weeks in particular and um, yeah there's just sometimes you can look at data and you can look at performances performances haven't been bad but ultimately there's something that isn't in the data that tells us that um, yeah we're, we're not getting the the degrees so we feel like it's time to turn it how tempted were you just to see it out? I mean, you know, as you said, they've not been playing that badly, but you've been looking at it. It's the actual data you're looking at and the other thing. Yeah, no, so to, to the day, the underlying performance of the group is, 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 is not bad, you know, but actually, underlying performance doesn't equate to points in the league, right? And we're in a, we're in a, a challenging position. I feel confident that we've got the right players in the team, we've got enough quality there, but there's something not quite working. And there has to come a point where you go, you know, we need to change our own look somehow. We can't just hope for the look to change for itself. So you know, at some point you've got to take the decision and try and change it up to make the decision for itself. So uh, the data is telling us that we've got some quality there, but the, uh, the league telling us to take the something different right now. So what next then? I mean, first of all, how did Paul take it? Well, look, you know, as you can imagine, Paul is a man of incredible integrity, um, honesty, and not, not the easiest conversation but, um, you know, uh, but at the same time um, you know it's um, we, we, we dealt with it like you'd expect I think him and Chris at the same time so obviously disappointed and obviously saddened by it but uh, never wish him and Chris all the best wishes for the future and what now have you got something lined up uh, not at the moment no so I think it would be disrespectful to Chris and Paul to have had that decision we thinking that we, we came here today hoping to get a result and hoping to kick on next weekend against Slough and the FA Cup, so I think that would be disrespectful. We've been working in the background to think about how we approach the next few weeks, we've got a very clear plan. Um, we can talk about that in the next coming days. Now is not the time for that, I think it's just a respect for Chris and Paul. We've got a plan, we're going to have to be certainly no one lined up today, but you know, we're, we're thoughtful about, you know, this is this is the next chapter for these people to have to think about. So making the right decision about the quick decision is going to be So what happens now, who's in charge? So we've got a, a meeting with the coaching team tomorrow morning. I think we've got a good set of lads there that can um, keep things ticking over for the next few days. We're going to speak to them in the morning. But again, we want to speak to Chris and Paul first. Uh, Debbie's having that conversation with the coaching team now. And we'll regroup with them in the morning. Then I'll be at Cheapside first thing, Monday with the, with the players and the staff. And we'll make that decision then. No rush. Again, today is about being respectful for Chris and Paul. Uh, and then we'll, we'll get to the group tomorrow morning and we'll make this a plan. So Chris and Paul leave, everybody else stays? Uh, yes.